Wild Mouse. From a distance, the wild mouse looks like a very tame ride, but appearance can be deceiving. It is a very small ride, but the screams from the riders tell another story. It might seem like an easy lab to do, but it is very difficult to get accurate readings on each of the turns. This ride counts as one of the two circular motion rides that you must do at the park. It can also count as your fifth ride that is any of the rides in the packet you haven't done. You will need the horizontal accelerometer and a stopwatch. Stand off to the side of the ride and record the time it takes for the car to move through a half circle. Make sure you consider the starting point of the half circle and the ending point of the half circle. Start timing as soon as the car reaches the starting point of the circle and stop timing as soon as the car reaches the ending point of the circle. Take at least five measurements and find the average. Record this time in the section from the ground and calculate the velocity and centripetal acceleration while you wait in line for the ride. On the ride, you need to use the horizontal accelerometer. How you hold this accelerometer is very important. If you tip it up or down, you won't get accurate results. Hold it against the lap bar and don't let it move up or down from the bar. This will keep it horizontal. Make sure the 80 degree mark is facing to the right. You're measuring accelerations that are to the right and the ball can't go far enough on the other side. On the first three left hand turns, record the angles from the accelerometer. Then take the tangent of this angle to get an answer in G's. This is your centripetal acceleration. How does this compare to what you experience on other rides like roller coasters?